Hi there, I'm Dr. Sarah Wooten, and in today's video, we are going to be reviewing my top 10 tips for caring for senior kitties. So here we go. My number one tip for you if you're caring for a senior kitty is to not believe that age is a disease. People think that an older cat is necessarily going to be a sicker cat, but that's not necessarily true. There is a lot of a lot of healthy older kitties out there. So the other common misconception is that people think it's normal for old animals to just slow down. So age is not a disease and slowing down is not necessarily normal for older cats. And let me tell you why. Slowing down is actually usually a sign that something is wrong under the hood. The most common cause that we find older cats slowing down is that they have arthritic joints, painful arthritic joints. We don't tend to think about arthritis in cats as much as we do in dogs, but it turns out is it's extraordinarily common in cats that are over the age of seven. So if you find that your cat is slowing down, not playing as much, not climbing stairs, not jumping, not running, things like that, then that's a sign that something is going on and that cat needs an intervention from a veterinarian. Could be arthritis, could be something else. So remember, age is not a disease and slowing down is not necessarily a normal thing for older cats. All right, my number two tip when you're caring for a senior kitty is to watch what they are doing when they're eating and drinking. Now, I don't mean obsessively, you don't have to just on them all the time, but you know, keep it in the back of your mind that any changes in eating or drinking can signal the need for some veterinary attention. In older cats, it's very common for them to, to develop problems with kidneys or problems with their thyroid or diabetes. And all of those can cause changes in drinking and eating patterns. So if you see a massive increase or a massive decrease or even slight changes. I mean, you probably, you know your cat way better than I know your cat. I don't know your cat, but you know your cat way better than your veterinarian knows your cat. So if you're noticing any changes, those could be signs that something's going on. So get thee to a vet and uh, have it checked out because the earlier you, you get some of these things handled, the less likely they are to impact your cat's long-term health and the less expensive they're going to be. So watch for any changes in eating and drinking. And if you see them, call your vet. Okay, my number three tip for caring for senior kitties is providing them extra warmth if needed. Older cats may have less muscle mass, they may have lower metabolism, they may have other changes that just makes it harder for them to stay warm. And so they may spend more time seeking areas that are warm to rest in. You can help this cat out by providing a heated cat bed. There are tons of them out there, read your reviews, choose something that you really like, but providing an older cat with a heated cat bed is honestly one of the kindest things you can do for your older kitty. It's not going to, not only going to help them stay warm, but it will also help them if they have painful arthritic joints. So provide extra warmth for those older kitties in the winter. All right, my number four tip for people who are caring for older cats is to provide night lights for your indoor kitties. So we all know as we grow and age, sometimes our our sight and our vision can decrease. The same thing happens in cats. So providing a nightlight to these older cats in the house in different places where they're walking around may help them be able to navigate more easily to say their litter box at night. So providing a nightlight is my number four tip. All right, my number five tip for caring for older cats is think twice before you get a kitten for companionship. I see a lot of people who are noticing that their older cats are acting differently, maybe not as much energy. And so they think innocently enough that these older cats will enjoy a young kitten companion. I mean, we see how dogs get along, right? Well, in cats, sometimes it works out that way, but a lot of other times it works out that the kitten just really irritates the crap out of the older cat. Older cats are like older people 
people, they're set in their routines and they often like it to be quiet and you get this kitten in and that can create undue stress for an older cat. So also the thing is, is if you do notice that your older cat is slowing down, that's not a sign that your cat needs companionship. That's a sign that your cat has something going on underneath the hood, somewhere in the body that is affecting the body in such a way that this cat is not acting in the same way. So I recommend not getting a kitten for companionship for older cats. The other thing, cats form very, very rigid social structures. And even if that social structure is just with themselves, yeah, they could be narcissists. It could happen. But even if that social structure is just by themselves, if you bring another cat into that social structure, you upset everything. So it's best to get cats at the same time because that will help them form their social structures. So anyways, that's my number five tip. Okay, my number six tip uh, for all of you lovely people who are uh, caring for older kitties out there is try to stick to a routine for your cat as much as possible. Listen, we know older people like routine. Older cats love routine, right? These cats like to know when their food is going to be fed, when playtime is, when their litter box is going to be clean. They like to know where their stuff is and they like you to not move it around, right? They're kind of like cranky old men. So if you want to provide for them in this way, it will reduce stress and help them have a better quality. So my number six tip is stick to a routine as much as possible when caring for older kitties. All right, my number seven tip for caring for older cats is to feed them a combination of wet food and dry food. So cats are desert animals and they do not tend to have a drive for thirst the way people do or dogs do. And so they tend to get dehydrated pretty easily, especially older cats. And that can really impact their kidney function, right? We see a lot of kidney function problems in older cats. One way to combat that is to make sure that they're getting moisture in their diet by feeding them canned food. I love canned food. I don't love all canned food, but I love a lot of canned food because it is high in protein, which cats have to have, and it's high in moisture, which cats also have to have. So if you can at all possible, feed them a combination of both. This will also make it easier for you and for your cat if you ever do need to change the diet because of medical reasons, right? Your cat's already used to a little bit of a variety, and I mean a little bit, let's not go crazy with variety, but feeding them canned and dry is awesome. Also, when you are feeding them, make sure you're feeding them an, uh, an appropriate amount. I see a lot of fat kitties and older cats are no exception. Most indoor cats don't need any more than 300, about 330 to 350 calories, kil kilocalories. It says K cal on your bag. They don't need more than 330 to 350 K cals per day. Okay, so that is my nutrition tips for you caring for older kitties. Okay, my number eight tip for people caring for older kitties is to provide litter box that is easy to get in and out of and a location that is easy for your cat to access. So as we've already discussed, a lot of older kitties have problems with painful joints. And if the edges are too high, if the sides of that box are too high, they're going to have difficulty getting in and out. And that may make them more likely to urinate or defecate someplace else in the house, which we don't want. So you can combat this by using a litter box that has lower sides. If you're worried about them scraping the, um, the litter out, you can always put it on like a big cookie sheet to control any spillage. But use a, a litter box that has lower sides and make sure that you have one, if you have multiple floors, that you have a litter box on every single floor floor because again these cats may not want to go up and down stairs as much and so in order to keep them um, happy and not urinating and defecating anywhere they shouldn't 
make sure you provide them with a litter box that is easy to access and easy to get in and out of. All right, my number nine tip for people who are caring for older cats is to feed them a diet that is highly digestible, easily digestible. So I don't know if you're older yourself, but um, as you age, your digestion system changes and sometimes it can digest things fine and other times not so, not so much, right? So same thing in our cats. Sometimes as they get older, 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 they lose some of their digestive uh, capabilities. So that's why our senior diets came in. Senior diets for cats are labeled as such because they have different levels of um, they have different levels of digestibility. They're more easily digested. Also, they have some varying nutrient differences that are designed to support older cats. So make sure that you are feeding a diet that's highly digestible. Easiest way to do that, find a diet that is formulated for senior kitties. Okay, and my number 10 tip for all of you beautiful people out there caring for our feline senior citizens is to not skip on their annual veterinary visits. These visits are awesome because they do provide an extra set of eyes that look at your cat and tell you if there's been any changes you need to be concerned about. The other thing we do know that these cats can develop certain things, certain conditions as they get old, such as kidney problems or hyperthyroidism. And so having them screened annually is a good way to catch any of those things early. The other thing that's nice about a veterinarian is they can help you with managing weight, which is really important, managing dental care, really important. And then also just checking uh, things like parasites, right? Even older cats can get parasites. So you want to make sure that these cats are parasite free and checked out at least once a year. Uh, if your cat is sick in any way um, and they're older, I would often recommend twice a year visits for these cats, just because things can change pretty quickly in a cat's condition and waiting a whole year may be too long for some of these cats. So that is my number 10 tip. So there you have it. Those are all 10 tips of all the things that I, as a veterinarian, would talk to you about in how to best care for that senior kitty. So thank you so much for watching, and I will be back with another video very soon.